All right, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome on Heads board. Up the ground for Delta 2790. Uh, courtesy call uh, should be pushing here in the next few minutes. Delta 2790, Roger. You can expect runway one on right. Thank you. Doing a few quick things yeah, here. To say about an hour delay. If that sounds right to you. I don't know. I'm gonna get your time. Just one second. All right, thanks. Loading our route here. Should be runway one nine or left out of Tampa. Ended one departure, Laysen transition, one nine or left. After Laysen, we're going to Patoy. Okay, flight one two hundred request taxi. Q116. Q one one six. To Jaja. One nine right via Victor Victor Four Whiskey Frontier Flight. Uh, Montgomery. And then back on the Little Rock. Compute some takeoff data here. The winds are one eight zero at eight. Dry runway. All right, eight thousand three hundred feet. We need four thousand two hundred thirty-four. Just me on board, full fuel. Uh, heading 187 uh, until 540, uh, then heading 213. Manual sequence, or is on by ATC. Top altitude 6,000. I'll set that. All right. We're going ended, Laysen, Patoy, and then the rest will check down the road. All right. And we are ready for engine start. The signal out there, number two, we're clear on the right. Battery volts are good. There goes number two. Just shut down, so I'm going to let it spool up to at least 10% to help cool the ITT down. Once I get this one started, I'll try to point it out on the next one. N2, oil pressure, one 425, fuel flow, ignition, and light off. A little behind on those calls, but I noticed them. Trying to make it so you notice them too. <clears throat> All right, so red engine started stabilizing. Once the battery amps get below 200, we can do a cross gen start. We'll use the generator from that one and partially the battery to start the left engine. So I'm gonna let N2 right here spin up to at least 10%, which will allow ITT to cool down and cool in, pulling some air into the engine. Normally we don't have to wait till 10% because of the fade X, but I'm gonna help cool it down. And then that will make it a cooler start. So we want, I'll try to point everything out as we do it here. All right, so we're below 200 amps. Give them the sign, number one. All right, N2. Pull it down. Uh, All right. 10% fuel flow, igniters, there's light off, oil pressure, and one before 25. Those are our initial checks. We're just trying to make sure it runs stable now. Nice cool start since the generator from the other side is helping to spin this one. <clears throat> the igniter cut out around 44%, which is good. It'll stabilize. Do the checks as a flow. So here comes the flaps. Flight controls free and correct. Flaps are good. Speed brakes up. I see them out there. Flaps back to 15. Elevator electric trim check. Speed brakes extended. They're back out. Back down. All right, gen checks. I'll take gen one offline. Wait for a fail. All right, there's a fail. Right gen coming offline. There's a fail. I'll make sure the left generator can take the load. It takes the load. Right generator back on. Make sure that they can parallel and split the load within 15%. They do. Battery switch off. Isolate the battery. Battery voltage is good. Everything's back on. Gen checks are good. Now I can turn the air on. And we can catch up. Did autopilot check. Autopilot. Good. We'll arm VNAV. All right. The four taxis are conditioners, auto or fans, elevator, electric trim, check and set, autopilot engaged, disengage, other and rudder trim, check set, flaps, check set, 15, speed brakes extended, retracted, lights out, they're visually down. Ice protection systems are not needed, avionics are checked and set, 
Takeoff data is confirmed and posted. We're getting that both on GPS one right now because we're under the ramp here at, or under the roof here at Shelter. It should resolve. Landing field elevation 266. That's Little Rock. Half the fighters open. Passenger safety switch is not needed. So we are good to go. Once again, I'm using the four flight call sign, hiding the tail number of this airplane. It's not my airplane. Contracting on it, respecting the owner's privacy. Tampa ground, four flight 471, information uniform, shelter, ready to taxi. Four flight 471, runway 19LF, taxi via Sierra Echo, cross runway 28 on Echo. Runway 19 left, Sierra Echo, cross runway 28 on Echo. Four flight 471. Take a minute just to confirm that route here. Hey, Ryan, you want Delta 27 I go the way to hold short line? All right, that no. makes sense. Uh, yes, actually you can. We will be nice Give them a flash of the taxi light. You to monitor tower and have a good day. Thanks for your help. Free to Delta 790. See you. My pleasure. Trying to use the least amount of thrust possible here, but we're heavy and this airplane doesn't have a ton of thrust in the first place. All right, we're holding short. As you can see, there's quite a bit of weather out there. I'm gonna go ahead and prep for this departure. I'm gonna split the screen. And I'm gonna put the weather radar active up here. It's gonna be in standby mode though, because we don't wanna run it on the ground. <clears throat> Got my tilt set, altitude compensated tilt set. So everything's ready, I can hit active as we're going. So let's go ahead and let them know we are ready. 471, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff, winds calm. Clear for takeoff, 19 left, 4 flight 471. All right, we're clear for takeoff, pitot static heats are on, landing light is on. Before takeoffs are complete. <clears throat> takeoff thrust is set and achieved, two good engines, airspeed's alive. 70 cross check, red only. V1, rotate. Positive rate. All right, 400, we're back to climb thrust. Goddamn, flight level change, we're V2 plus 10, flaps are up, and lights to recog, and I'm gonna turn the radar on. We're about 540, so we're starting our turn to 213. Okay, 471, can I departure, good day. Over to departure, 4 flight 471, good day. <laughs> departure, 4 flight 471, 1,400, climbing 6,000. Four flight four seventy one table departure to contact. After takeoff checks, gears up. Three fifty three. Lights are up. Uh, throttles are inclined. Safety switch is not needed. Uh, Exterior lights are as required. Three fifty three. Pressurization is building a differential. One hundred left, and we're in the turn correct raise now. And altimeters will get them at the transition after takeoffs are complete. Flash 471, fighting 280, climb maintain 1 and 2000. Heading 280, climb maintain 1 2000, 4 flight 471. All right, heading 280 set, heading mode is activated, and 1 2000 is bugged, and we're in flight level change. I'm still flying, so the autopilot is not on yet. Quite a bit of precept out there that's going to put us through it. It looks okay, I can see through it. Yeah, and on the radar here, you can see it's just uh, yellow. A little bit of red off to the right, but we're not going to go through that. We'll zoom in so you can see it. Yep, just a little bit of yellow out there. Nothing too concerning. And like I said, most importantly, I can see through it. Up to 353 instead of maintain 7,000. I'm using this left screen here, I'm zooming out, and I'm looking ahead. Four flight 471, flighting 320, when able direct to release. Heading 320, when able direct to release, four flight 471. Sam 839, flighting at 350. So let's see what release looks like. 
heading 350, Sam 839er. I'm going to go ahead and engage the autopilot. A little lower than I usually do, but I've got quite a bit of weather to deal with here, so I need the time to look. Autopilot is engaged, confirmed on the scoreboard. Yeah, 320 is going to be our heading for a little bit. I'm going to come out just a little bit, and then we'll go direct to Lacey. Sam, Sam, you can see you're on the radar. There's some red out there. I don't really want to get into that. But we're clear here, just going through some light preset. Sam, 839, uh, Roger. So now what I was saying, I'm going to zoom out a little bit on the next rad. This shows, you know, pretty close in right now the way I've got it zoomed. I'll zoom it back out to 60 nautical miles as well. But one thing that can happen is if you get enough precip, there you go, you can see on the windshield we've got some rain now. If you get enough precipitation, it can attenuate what's behind 471, it. 471, contact Jack Center, 135.75, get in. 3575, 4 flight 471, good day, sir. Jack Center, 4 flight 471, 9300, climbing 1 2000, turning direct, Laysen now. 4 flight 471, Jack Center, rider climbing, maintain flight level 260. Flight level 260, 4 flight 471. 4 flight 471, moderate to extreme precipitation off the right side, about the next 15 miles. 4 flight 471, Roger, next, it's in sight. Center, Battle Act 550, wind up here, RS 250. Alright, we're climbing 310, recog light can come off, reset our heading bug, everything looks good up there. What I was saying is here, we want to kind of occasionally zoom out and use the XM to see further down the road, just to make sure I'm not making a bad decision, only looking at the short stuff here with the real radar. So this looks good, at least to Jaw Jaw, figure out Jaw Jaw now. Okay, uh, Sierra Zulu Whiskey. I'll zoom out there and you can really see what's coming up here. This is the line we came through earlier. Really ugly. Kind of dissipated a little bit, so I'm hoping it'll be better this time. This arrival's done for all purposes. We're direct to the final point, so I'm going to get rid of the chart over here. Put a map up over here. I usually zoom this map out to a bigger view. So this way, I keep track of this line of storms, what they're doing, and yeah, we're seeing a pretty good break now. This is what I came through coming down, but the break did not look that good. Level one two thousand. Four flight four seventy one. Amend the altitude for now. Maintain one seven thousand. Seventeen higher in just a moment. Okay, we'll stop at one seven thousand. Four flight four seventy one. I'm for 1210. I had a direct Jeffries now. We need to turn just inside of right, Not much out there for a little bit on the radar, so I'm going to go ahead and make Roger, this radar go away. Uh, make our regular screen bigger. Past Jeffries and then northbound on the high side, but uh, to get closer, just uh, let me know what uh, heading you're going to need to clear that now. Real pretty view here off the left wing. We're kind of out over the ocean just a little bit. Contact Jack Center 1, Got some storms off the left wing. 517 is Sam 839. Southwest 1419, descend to maintain flight level 190. Well, sun shining through. 463, checking in. Confirm, 463, level 1,000. Flight 471, thanks for the patience. Climb maintain flight level 260. No problem. Climb maintain flight level 260, four flight 471. All right, you can see I dialed 26 into the altitude selector. And since it's a Garmin airplane, I'm just going to hit flight level change. That brings it back down to 220 knots, and it will gently pick up. 27.20. And uh, start getting us to that airspeed. I say, since I'm in a Garmin airplane, that's what I'm going to do. Not all autopilots and systems make that transition smooth. I do flying on a CJ4 as well, and it's the ProLine system, and it does not make that smooth. So if you hit final change, it will rapidly pitch up, and it's pretty uncomfortable. I had a pretty big gap in between my Pro-Line flying. It was actually my first jet was a Pro-Line jet. And then it went probably four or five years until I started flying the CJ-4. I forgot about that. Yeah, you only hit that flight level change button once or twice in the Pro-Line. It's really uncomfortable, even for the pilot who knows it's coming. So what you do in the other way is you just hit vertical speed and start rolling it up just a little bit and get the nose to pitch up and start bleeding off some airspeed, then you can hit fly level change. Makes it a whole lot better. Full flight 471, contact Jack Center 135.62. 3562, four flight 471, good day. Team 23, turn 20 degrees left, radar extra traffic. 20 degrees left, up 1820. Jack Center, four flight 471, fly level 225, climbing 260. Four flight. 471 Jacksonville Center, climb and maintain, fly level 340. Fly level 340, 4 flight 471.
Jacksonville Northern Jet 300, Jet set. climbing 400. Northern Jet uh, 300, Jacksonville, center right. November 2, Golf Bravo, thank you. Clear direct to you, Bite. Correct, Bite, take a bump. Delta 1823, thank you. Clear direct to on. All right, everybody, we're up here at uh, 40,000 feet now. <clears throat> we're through most of the lower weather there, and we're on top of the rest pretty much. And this uh, gap up ahead here still looks like we're going to go pretty much right through the middle of it. Looking out the window, we might be in the tops or just above them a little bit. Nothing too bad. But uh, anyways, I'm going to kind of shut the cameras off and pick it back up on the arrival into Little Rock. One thing I wanted to mention, I have been getting quite a few comments about uh, how I got to where I am and what I do for a living and how I got to fly so many planes and all that. People have been wanting an About Me video. Eventually I will do an in-depth About Me video. I kind of roughly in my head have about the 10,000 subscriber mark. In my head is kind of where I'm thinking I'll do that video. But for now, I was interviewed for a podcast by a local media company that's owned by a friend of mine named Justin and uh, one of his guys named Alex. I'm gonna link that video up here so you can check that out in the meantime. It's a podcast that basically does that. It kind of says how I got started and uh, all that. So feel free to go watch that in the meantime until I have the time to make a video myself. Split our screen, so we'll start running the radar again. This is that cell. <laughs> Could be a little bit of a problem for us. We might have to come in on one of the two twos. I'm going to see if we can maybe come in on three six. It's a direct crosswind. Probably not. Approach four flight four seventy one. Any chance of landing three six? That cell looks to be right over Ruzal. Four flight four seventy one. I have your request. Okay, thanks. We'll see if they give us three six. 471, descend and maintain 5,000. 5,000, 4Flight 471. 4Flight 4, 471, right. 4, 4, uh, expect a visual approach runway 36. Visual 36, 4Flight 4, 471, thank you. Reload the approach here. The wind's uh, 0, 9, or 0, so direct crosswind either way, and this lets us avoid the cell. Let's go ahead and calculate the landing data. Landed runway 36, landing weight's 8,575 pounds. We'll load the METAR. Currently it's saying 1105, that's still within the landing uh, tailwind okay, limit. Okay, November, uh, radar service terminated. Uh, this airplane. 6,060 available, we need 4,289. It's a two knot tailwind, five knot crosswind. I'm willing to accept that tailwind to not have to deal with a cell on the other side. So what we'll do is we'll be really cautious of our speed. We'll make sure we cross the runway at rev. And this might not be that good of a landing. Nobody's in the back, so I'm just gonna work on getting it set down at the right point so that we can make our runway performance numbers. Yeah, this is a good call landing with a slight tailwind. That's a uh, cell's kind of lighting off up there. There's a bunch of lightning in it now and we would have to be pretty much right at it. Four flight 471, Adams Field, two o'clock, five miles by the site. Four flight 471, airport's in sight. Four flight 471, clear visual approach, runway 36, contact Adams Tower. 118.7. Autopilot. Clear visual 36 over to tower. 4 5 4 good day, sir. Skyhawk 3. 
Adams Tower, four flight four seventy one, visual three six. Four flight four seventy one, Adams Tower. Wind one three zero at five, runway three six, clear to land. Three six, clear to land. Four flight four seventy one. That uh, speed is wind speed is still below our tailwind limit, so I am still willing to land this way. I can definitely see that cell. There's two of them actually off the end of the runway, so I'm pretty happy with this decision. Gear down, speed checks before landing checks. We've got three green, no red. Flaps are 15, speed checks now, so we're coming to 35. Speed brakes are retracted, air speeds are posted. Autopilot's away, we've got Yacht Amp to go. You can see the windows fogging up now, that's why we run the defrost. Five hundred. Three green, no red, flaps fulls. Speed is approached, I'm gonna come back to ref now. Yacht amp's away. Landing's complete. Four five four seven one, confirm clear to land. Four five four seven one, A, affirmative clear land, runway three six. Clear to land three six. I didn't have the landing light on, that's a final check. But you can always do. There's ref, 50 feet at the threshold, everything's good. We'll go to idle. Speed brakes are out. Still not too bad of a landing. Four seventy one, turn left on able, contact ground point nine. Left on able and over to ground. Four five four seventy one, good day. Good day. All right, everybody, we are home. Thank you for flying along. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notifications when I post. Catch y'all on the next one.